Hey guys, today we're making this cheesecake stick, so let's get started. We're gonna start by using two 7 inch cake tins, or you can also use whatever size you want just as long as it's not too big. And with a baking paper, trace the cake pan with a pen, then cut it out so that when we make the crust, it would be easy to lift it up. Using a food processor, you'll need one and a half packet of Oreos and start pulsing. After that, add two thirds cup of butter and melt it. Pour it in the food processor and continue to crush. After that, your Oreos should look like this. Now place it on the first cake pan and flatten it with a spoon. Make sure there aren't any holes or empty gaps in between. Then we'll need to set this aside in the freezer. For the second cheesecake, we're using graham crackers as the base. I used 4 to 5 packets depending on how thick you want the crust to be. After that, just crush it and add the same amount of melted butter. Again, flatten the base and make sure everything is covered. Set aside in the freezer as well and leave to freeze. We're gonna be using one bar of Philadelphia cream cheese and make sure it's in room temperature. If not, simply knead and press the cream cheese to soften it. Next, add 300 ml of thickening cream and continue to mix. Add one can of condensed milk and mix. Once everything has dissolved, add the gelatin mixture, which I will write down on the description box below. After that, pour on both cake tins, but make sure you only put halfway on the Oreo base as we're mixing a chocolate layer on top of it. With a spatula, flatten the mixture until it's even. For the second layer of the other cheesecake, we're adding a quarter cup of cocoa powder into it. Then just mix. Pour the chocolate layer and spread evenly. Mm -hmm. 
add whatever chocolate syrup you want for the topping and after that, place both cheesecakes in the freezer to freeze for 4 hours or leave overnight. Now that our cheesecakes are frozen, you'll need to wait for it to defrost a little so you can easily cut into slices. Get a tray with a baking paper and assemble the cheesecakes by inserting lollipop sticks, which you can buy from your local dollar store. At this stage, the cheesecakes are still a bit frozen, so you'll have to twist and insert the sticks carefully, making sure it doesn't pop off through the cheesecake. Do the same for the chocolate cheesecake, and for this one, I tried inserting the sticks like this. If you're worried that your cheesecake is getting a little bit soft, you can always put it back in the freezer. For the topping, I crushed a bit of white chalk fingers, Tim Tams, and Oreos. I also made chocolate ganache as the coating, which I will add on the description box below. And for this part, feel free to decorate your cheesecake however you want. I like the idea of coating it with chocolate ganache, then adding the toppings all over it. I also love drizzling it, and you can also use white chocolate for this one. Just melt it in a microwave and yeah, it should be good. And now our cheesecake sticks look so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see more of my baking videos, don't forget to subscribe and also watch my other baking videos if you're interested. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye!